I'm Abby Esparza with Envato Tuts Plus, and in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a Sakura petal brush in Photoshop, so you can create quick and easy falling Sakura petal photo effects. First, open up a photo containing any cherry blossom petal, the bigger the better, and extract the petal using your preferred method. The object selection tool worked great for me. Next, control click the cherry blossom, or its layer mask if you have one, to make an exact selection. Hit the crop tool to crop the canvas down to size. Create a white color fill layer below the petal. Turn the petal grayscale with a black and white gradient map, checking the reverse box in the gradient maps properties panel, inverting the colors. Right click, flatten image, and go to edit, define brush preset. Don't worry about naming your brush just yet. We still have to apply the settings. Let's start with setting the spacing to 1000% in the brush settings panel. If you don't see the brush settings panel, you can always go to windows brush settings. Next are shape dynamics with a size jitter of 50%, angle jitter of 100%, and a roundness jitter of 100% as well. Then for our scattering, let's do a scatter of 1000%. The scattering, however, will change as you paint. Feel free to lower it if needed. You can also increase the count to two or three to paint more than one petal at a time. Now let's set our color dynamics to foreground background jitter, 40%, hue jitter, 2%, saturation jitter, 2%, and brightness jitter, 4%. Now let's save these settings and name your new brush by clicking the square icon in the bottom right corner of the brush settings panel. And now finally, let's put our new brush to good use. Open up your image and create a new layer, calling it medium petals, if you like being organized. Let's color select a color from the lightest point of a flower for our foreground color, and then a darker point for our background color using the eyedropper tool. Set the size of your brush so that the largest petal you paint will only be as big as the largest petal that is in focus in your photo. Now click and drag your brush across the image. You can always undo and repaint if needed, and use the eraser brush tool to ditch any petals that don't quite work. And you can also add a very slight Gaussian blur if the petals are a little bit too sharp compared to the rest of the image. Next, let's create some background petals by lowering the size of our brush just slightly, creating a new layer named background, and then painting all over. Don't be afraid to create and paint on multiple different layers. Erase any smaller petals that overlap on top of your model, keeping them in the background. If your subject's background is heavily out of focus, like mine, then add a Gaussian blur so the petals appear blurry and out of focus. Finally, I like to lower the background petals opacity down to around 70%. Finish things up by creating two new layers over all of your other petal layers and subject. Naming these layers large and extra large. You guessed it, we will be painting large and extra large petals on top of both of these layers. These petals will be our foreground petals and will help give any image a quick dose of depth. Blur both of these layers using Filter, Blur Gallery, Field Blur. Don't be shy with that blur. The exact number will depend on the size of your image as well as just how out of focus you want things to be. That's it. That's all there is to creating a Sakura brush in Photoshop. The best part being this will work on any kind of flower petal or foliage, including leaves and rose petals. And if you're looking to learn more about all things design, why not check out some of the other excellent videos that Envato Tuts Plus has to offer. If you like this video and would like to see more, consider giving us a like and even subscribing if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of all new videos, including tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy designing. See you next time.